Good morning, Kaden. Do you want more mumums? Do you want more mumums? He's obsessed with those cookies. Are they good? Do you like them? Yes. Yes. Están buenos. See. Sí. And we have Mr. Liam over here. Say hi, hi to the chicas, papi. Hi, chica. He is over here enjoying his popsicle, just living his best life. I am going to get started in the kitchen right now because I'm going to be making uh, some chilaquiles. I've shown this recipe with you guys a couple of vlogs ago and Jason absolutely fell in love with the chilaquiles suizos. So this morning he woke up, he's like, please make it again because it is so good and I was like, Say less. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get down in the kitchen and I am eating some rice cake, apple cinnamon rice cake with a little bit of peanut butter and it is so freaking good. It's something like a light, easy breakfast and then I'll go in with the chilaquiles. So we have the tomatillos, we have the chiles, we have the chicken and the salsa. So I'm gonna show you guys very quickly how I'm gonna do everything but I'm also going to start making my coffee because you guys know that Oh, hold on, my child needs another mama. hold on. I'm going. Cookie? Mmm, cookie! Happy baby now. <laughs> so like I was saying, I'm going to start on my coffee because you guys know that I need to have my coffee every morning. By the way, I bought new coffees at the Nespresso store and I think today I'm going to try the chocolate fudge and I'm gonna show you guys very quickly what my recipe is for the chocolate fudge one. So I'm gonna put this in, pop it in, close it. I'm gonna start on my coffee right now, but first I have to put this so it can start boiling. The chiles are boiling, so now I can start on my coffee. I took everything out that I need, and now I'm going to start brewing. I'm gonna take a little bit of half and half. Then I'm gonna take some creamer, put it in here. Then we're gonna turn this on. So this is basically everything that I use, some caramel sauce, the cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla extract, chocolate syrup, French vanilla, and then this is for my froth that I usually put in here as you guys saw. So once that is ready, I'll show you how I mix everything. The coffee is all done, so now what I do is I take a little bit more of the half and half and I just add it. Then I take some French vanilla syrup. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Now I'm gonna take some chocolate syrup and kind of just drizzle it on top. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm gonna take some caramel sauce, just drizzling a little bit. There we go. And we are going to take a little bit of cinnamon. I am all done with my coffee and I need to show you what it looks like because this looks so beautiful and it smells so good. Let me show you. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my God, I need to try this right now. Okay, let's try it out. Oh wow. Dang, this is good. This is bomb AF. <gasps> There's days where my coffee is good, but today it just hits different. This is what I needed. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I needed to fully, fully wake up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to enjoy my cafecito and I'm going to keep on working on the chilaquiles. Bam, look at that guys. Chilaquiles are done. If you guys haven't tried this recipe, you guys need to give it a try. All done eating. I love cooking. I love eating good you know like with good flavor but but this i do not love oh my god i have to clean all of this mess usually like jason helps me like if i cook he cleans but we have so much work like this whole month we've been so busy so he is literally stuck in the office responding to emails editing my videos and just getting a lot of work done that's what i'm telling you guys like a lot of the times you guys don't see him but he does so much kind of like behind the scenes like that office is like his second bedroom he is literally stuck there all the time so now i have to go ahead and clean up all of this mess and I'm about to put on my cumbias 
because I feel like I cannot clean without my music. So I'm about to blast this music all the way up and start cleaning. I am all done cleaning the kitchen. Now I'm going to go get dressed because I have to pick up some packages at UPS and I have to go ahead and return some Forever 21 clothing. So let's go. Just got here to the UPS store. I have four packages that I need to pick up. I was going to go to Forever 21 first, but then I was like, no, I know myself. I know I'm going to return everything and then I'm going to keep on looking around the store and they close early here. So I was like, let me just go pick up my packages because if I don't pick them up, they're going to keep accumulating and you know, I just have to go right now. So we're going to go pick up the packages. I'm going to put on my mask. All right. We have all of the packages. Now, let's go to Forever 21 and let's return everything. Bish, you already know me. Ya me conoces. Ya me conoces. I have a weakness for Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. And guess what? There is a Home Goods on the way to Forever 21. So you know what that means? Shopping! Yes! We took down all of our Christmas decor and I'm so ready for a new year. But that's something that we're going to talk about when we get home. But... I'm super excited because I'm looking at regular home decor versus like Christmas home decor now. So this home goods always has a lot of good stuff. So let's cross our fingers and let's see what we can find. So let's go. Honestly, home goods makes me so happy. I can literally skip this. Like yeah, la la la. Home goods, here I come. Look what I found. I've been looking for like these double wall mugs. These are awesome. I love them. And I found one with a two piece for $13. So I'm definitely gonna take this. I got a home goods and I found a lot of stuff. Now I'm gonna check Tuesday morning for a rug. I found the rug that I was looking for. I literally came here and I was like, I'm not gonna find it. I know I'm not, but I'm still gonna go. And bitch, I found it. Also, I always get a lot of questions about my coffee mugs, the latte ones. I buy them here at Tuesday morning. They have one set of two and they're usually $12.99. So yeah, if you guys are ever looking for them, Tuesday morning always has them. Yay, I found my rug. Um, I'll do a haul when I get home and show you guys everything because we still need to go to Forever 21 and return everything else. Just got here to the mall. I'm about to go to Forever 21 to return this. Oh my God, look what I come home to. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful boys. Oh my God. He loves being with Liam, guys. He, like, loves him. Sometimes whenever we drop him off with his grandma, Liam doesn't want to go. And Jason's mom's always like, he was definitely looking for Liam today. Hola, papa. Look, he's happy. <laughs> so now that I'm home, I want to do a quick haul for you guys. So at Tuesday morning, I picked up this set of two double wall cappuccino cups. These are my coffee cups that I use all the time. I like that they're double wall, so your drink stays hot on the inside. But whenever you touch it on the outside... It's nice and cold. So I did buy these for $12.99. If you have a Tuesday morning near you, I would definitely go check it out. If not, I will leave an Amazon link down below for you guys if you guys want to purchase your own. And then at Home Goods, I found again these double wall, but these are a little bit different. These were also $13. And I thought these would be perfect for hot chocolate, especially because Jason always is drinking like hot chocolate and stuff. So I got these for him. And then I picked up these glass wine. Glass wine. These are wine glasses. That's what I meant to say. And I got these because they're a different shape and I just thought they were really cute. So I got these and I also got some caramel syrup for my coffee. Oh, and also let me show you guys the rug. I already put it up. This is what it looks like. I honestly think it looks so good. I got this one from Tuesday morning as well. So that's basically everything that I got. Just got here to five guys. Jason was craving burgers and lately, I don't know, I've been kind of like a skiada. Like, when it comes to McDonald's, Whataburger, like even in and out I really haven't been craving it that much. But just something about Five Guys, like it just tastes like more real and like less artificial. I don't know how to explain it. So whenever Jason craves a burger and I'm like, if it's Five Guys, yes. If it's not Five Guys, then I don't want it. Got my Five Guys with my Crocs. I seriously left the house with my Crocs. I was like, oh my God, why do I feel so comfy? And then I was like, <gasps> got to change your shoes and put on your nikes but then i was like eh. oh well these are super comfy look at my burger mm, this looks so freaking good 
We're about to eat dinner and watch a Netflix movie. I put the kids down to sleep and now it is time for me to finish cleaning slash decluttering the house. So I took down all of my Christmas decor as you guys can see. We took down all the Christmas decor the day after Christmas. Usually I leave all of my Christmas decor up until like after New Year's, like mid-January. But this year I just feel like it's different. You guys can probably agree with me. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Christmas this year just didn't feel the same. And I am just ready for a new beginning, to start fresh for the new year. I'm ready to say goodbye to 2020. I mean, 2020 was a good year in certain ways, but I think we can all agree that we're ready for 2020 to be over. With the house, I wanna declutter it. I want to reorganize everything, start the year with a fresh new start, a fresh new home. I wanna walk into my house and be like, good vibes, you know? Like, the vibes in here are immaculate. <laughs> So I started cleaning the house and decluttering a couple of days ago, like the day after Christmas. And I was like, you know what? I have time right now. It's very rare whenever I have time to like deep, deep clean the house. So I was like, you know what? I'm already like here. Might as well just take down all the Christmas decor. The only thing that we have left is the Christmas tree. That's literally the only thing that we have um, left to put away. So we're gonna put it away right now that the kids are asleep. I started taking everything out. My beauty room, decluttered that. You guys have no idea. I took out so much makeup. Most of the makeup I saved it for giveaways and then the other half of the makeup I give it away to my family members So that way they can put it to use instead of like just sitting in a drawer So my beauty room is good to go upstairs. I declutter everything Liam's room We took out so many toys and we donated them just because I feel like I just want to leave the stuff That is necessary and the stuff that we use instead of just having things and the thing that I have to tackle next Is my closet that oh my god. I don't even want to step foot in that closet because I know it's just going to be a hot mess. I have to get rid of all the clothes that I no longer need. Overall, I'm just super excited for 2021 and it's gonna be kind of sad to say goodbye to 2020, but it's okay. New beginnings are always great. I also need to work on my vision board. We are going to manifest a lot of stuff for 2021. Yes, we are. And I need to start working on my vision board. I did one for 2020. That kind of just like helps me when it comes to like my goals. So that way every single time that I walk into the room where I have my vision board, I'm just like, I'm coming for you. Yes, I am. So that kind of like helps me like, come on, Peter, be motivated, be motivated. So I need to work on that as well too. But let's go ahead and let's take the Christmas tree down. Good morning, guys. It is currently the next day. I didn't continue the vlog last night because we went to sleep so freaking late. We stored the Christmas tree in bags and then now we have to reorganize our closet where we store everything. Here comes the fun part. We have to like reorganize that whole little room again so i have it in the main entrance of the house so i'm going to leave it there until i get everything fixed and organized and then i also took down some bags that i had upstairs that i need to donate i put that in the truck last night so i can go ahead and donate it right now i'm on my way to drop off kaden with grandma because i have two videos to film but it shouldn't take me that long i think four or five hours max i should be done and then i'll go pick him up but he loves to go with his grandma if there's one thing that kaden loves is attention like any other kid and baby and his grandma gives him so much attention so every time he sees her he like instantly smiles so he's gonna go with grandma for a couple hours and i'm gonna show you guys what the house looks like now without the christmas decor and the christmas tree so this is the living room i am still working on getting a new rug i actually need to order that i think today that olive tree was in that corner but i moved it over here but today i'm going to go buy a second olive tree so i can put it in this corner just because when I had it here, I loved the vibe of it. So I feel like now it's like super empty. So that's like the one thing that I'm missing. So I feel like once I get the olive tree, it's going to be complete. I think the only thing that I am missing for my whole like living room and dining area to feel complete is mostly my couch, the sofa. I need to change that, the rug. And I think I might change that. Not quite sure. But I feel like when I change these three things, it's going to be like a drastic change. But yes, guys, this is what the living room looks like now and now let's go ahead and let's go drop off Kaden. Good morning Mr. Kaden. <laughs> Look at him. He's ready to go. Mama knows. And then here is where we left the Christmas tree last night. 
because, dude, we like have to put everything away in this closet. And this closet needs some major decluttering and reorganization. But I'm going to do that this weekend. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's drop off Kaden. Let me tell you that Crocs are very dangerous. You buy them thinking like, oh, I'm going to buy Crocs. And then later on, you wear them to the mall. You wear them to Walmart, Target, gas station, grocery shopping. You take them everywhere because they are so comfy. Just got here to drop off Mr. Kaden. Say bye to the chicas. Say see you later, chicas. <laughs> Dropped off a Kaden at my suegra's house. And my suegra has a Keurig machine. And there's one flavor from the Keurig machine that I absolutely Me? love. It's the mocha, coconut mocha. And so I brought my own little cup from my house. And I was like, dude, whenever I go over to drop off Kaden, I'm going to bring back some of her coffee because it is so freaking good. So that's what I have in this little Starbucks cup. So now I'm on my way home. I'm about to jam out to my music, a sip on my coffee, and just get home. It's going to be a very busy day today. I have a lot of things to do. I literally have a to-do list that is like about this long. I kid you not. So I know my videos, um, I will finish them, like filming them like right away. Primeramente Dios, I'll finish right away. But it's just like the other like small little things that I have to do. But it's okay. I know it's going to be a very productive day. It's going to be a good day. If you're watching this, just know that today's going to be a good day. And if today wasn't a good day, it's okay. Because sometimes it's okay not to be okay. All right? Period. All right. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and jam out. I got home and I crimped my hair and now I'm about to start filming both of my videos so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here I really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel so you can be part of the family and hit that bell so I can notify you every single time that we post a new vlog we love you guys so so much and we'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 Coming in, Coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, I just wanna yeah. LAPB, who we running with?